did you ever at the time in 2020 and 2021 question lockdown policy and its likely costs? And if not, why not? Well, the answer is I did. I don't think we should have closed schools ever. No, I don't think we should. One of the most tragic things about lockdown was the damage done to our kids' education. And I think everyone in this room would agree that we never want to ever repeat that. Why don't we have a first world, first class health service? And what are you going to do to make that happen? Money can't be the only answer, right? We're conservatives. We don't just keep throwing money at the problem. That's just not going to work. We do need to be bold and radical in reforming it. So if we had a system which was tougher on people for missing appointments, and it's not about making money from them, it's about changing the culture, so that's unacceptable. Because if we do that and people cancel them in advance, what have we done? We've just created lots more healthcare for everybody. We get the backlogs down quicker with no more tax pay. In my view, it's not about more money. It's about the culture. And lots of people in the NHS who, who I know and you know, talk to say, you know, there is waste. You know, there's waste of prescription drugs, there's waste of resources. When did the Tory party stop being the party of law and order? What I would do is introduce league tables so it's much clearer how much time police forces are spending on the beat, how successful they are on dealing with crimes that affect people so that there is much better accountability and scrutiny. We talked about this wokish ideology and you know, stop and search is a good example of a technique that works that police forces are not always using for, for reasons that are not right. What I'll tell everyone here is that I will never let political correctness stand in the way of keeping you and your family safe. That's the type of prime minister I will.